uh, did you guys see the video of the, there's this guy who was modifying, he had a Tesla plaid and he like gutted the whole thing and had done some reprogramming in it. It was doing a track day with it, but he had bled his brakes like right before he went on the track and he replaced his high performance oh, no. brake fluid with standard like Ford Focus brake fluid or something. It was not like yeah. up to par for the ceramic brakes that a plaid has. Right. And he was doing 170 miles. It's like 150 or 170 oh. miles an hour. It's fast down this straightaway on this track. And his brakes fail as well, he's he, coming into a corner. It's the most terrifying. I wish I knew the guy's YouTube channel. It's incredible. It's a cool build and everything. Super bummer that it's Which like, doesn't exist anymore. Um, <laughs> it exists in pieces. <laughs> but he had this incredibly fast Tesla, was doing a track day with it. And it's the scariest in-car footage I've ever seen of a car crash. But if you're doing a Tesla build, why are you going to put dot three brake fluid <laughs> right. in? Well, like, oh yeah, just you're going to the it. racetrack. It yeah. doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't make sense. He made a video of it afterwards where he's like, "That was really dumb." <laughs> <laughs> um, like most mistakes, you yeah. look back and you go, "Yeah, I was dumb. Yep. Shouldn't have done that." I saved four dollars on the build. <laughs> yeah. yep. But uh, yeah. It's he's got this super jarring footage from the inside because he's got cameras all over the place, and he's going. He's like, 120, 130, 140. He's like coming into turn seven. He's like, no brakes, no brakes, no brakes, and it just you see the car go sideways, oh, no. and then slam into a barrier. And this guy has no he... helmet, oh, God. no what? fire suit, and no race harness. What? Just In normal seatbelt, just, no helmet? He's running raw. He walked away. <laughs> so it's I'm assuming crazy. he kept the airbags in this vehicle. I don't think so. Because oh <laughs> I, I was going to say, I know Texas have good airbags, but like what? And also to think that he basically, I mean, people have crashed going a little faster. Probably not many, but uh, True. A, a gut, yeah, probably not many. A gutted Tesla Plaid has to be the like the fastest car that you yeah. can drive, basically among a few. Brakes, I just can't yeah. believe you didn't have a helmet on or anything. Yeah. Like, don't they normally not let you under the? And don't track you have to if your car's like a certain yeah. speed? Don't you have to have a harness and shit? Yeah. So there's like all he explained all of it, and I admittedly didn't watch the whole video. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but he he basically had like these special circumstances where he had like rented the track for the day, so he was able to just like he okay. said it was just a test lap, um. and then he just starts giving her, mm -hmm. and so he wasn't fully equipped, and yeah. Bad news Miraculous, bears. dude. Yeah, unbelievable that he survived. Yeah. But to confirm that electric cars are so cool is that one, he survived, and damn, it looked cool while he did it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so freaking fast that it doesn't even look real. As you, you see the tr see him going around a track, it's faster than any car I've ever seen it go around a track, ever. Right. Looks and like an RC car, speed-wise. Yeah. Yes, it looks like a Traxxas car that's, like, scaled up. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't make sense. Well, what did Slim say? When you got the power to go, you need to have the power to go, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he said it like that. Whoa. Which is true. I remember when I got in like the, uh, when we had the car show and I got in this guy's BMW um, and it was like 900 horse, all wheel drive. Jesus. Absolutely Ooh. blew my socks off. It was the fastest thing I'd ever, ever been in. And he comes cruising up and I'm like, I mean, I don't know how fast you're going, like oh, well over 100. And I'm like, dude, like we're coming up on a truck. And then he like hits the brakes and it was the most like aggressive, perfect, like slow down ever. He goes, I'm not going to build a car with this much power and like not match the, the brake quality, which I'm like, that's the type of energy we like to see <laughs> yeah. after doing a pull like that. So no helmet, regular seatbelt. There's no airbags in this thing. Is there no uh, rear door? There's no real door, no Whoa. rear window. I mean, this thing is gutted to like, the gills. Gu yeah, really gutted. Okay. Yeah, so, so right here, is he's, he's on the straight now. You told me that's not the scariest shit you've ever heard. Oh. Uh, Holy crap, dude. A grown man just going, uh, He just knocked the wind out of him. He was good. You got a guy making Holy deer Holy crap, dude. 
Holy crap. Okay, so we hit tires. That makes me feel a lot better. Looks like some airbags went off. No helmet, dude. I love how he was still vlogging up until basically him crashing. Literally the moment he crashed. So I thought it was crazy when I said 170. He said 160 60. on the tack. He slowed down quite a bit from there, but I, he had to have still been There's going no airbags. above 100. Damn. That's insane. And the guy walked away from this. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. This is the same guy. I haven't seen this video, but this is the same guy who drove his test underwater. I've been trying to get Ken to let us do that with his. Honestly, <laughs> this? it looked... No, not that. that. <laughs> underwater. I watched the video of them driving the test underwater. It looked like way more work than it was worth for the outcome. Mm. Glad he did it. Somebody had to do it, I guess. Mm -hmm. But he like barely went underwater, and then they basically just drove it out. And it was like a, you know, weeks worth of planning for nothing but... Mm -hmm. I just yeah, want to that take was crazy. Ken's car right now, pile the boys in, say we're going to go get dinner, and then just take it to drop by the beach first. And just find, I thought you were going to say find a, a tire barrier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine how much cooler that crash would have been if it sounded like your Camaro. Just saying. That's true. You had the thing just... Just the valid point. point. It's, like, it's a scary crash, but at the same time, it's just like, oh, he's going fast, and it sounds <laughs> like wind. So and now he's not moving anymore. <laughs> in a Tesla, I mean, so you're in a real car. You could have downshifted. You, oh, you're a saying a Tesla's not a real car. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but you know what I mean? There's some options to slow you down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is there? There's nothing you can do in a Tesla, right? You if got no brakes and you let off the gas. If that's your brakes it. fail, you are at the mercy of the well, regen of the motors. If the regen is still working, the regen slowdown of a Tesla is way more aggressive than your average car just rolling. Oh, yeah. Way more mm -hmm. aggressive. So I think that's why he was going 160 and the regen kicked in, but he still was probably going at least 100 when he hit oh, that yeah. wall. When Ken lets off the accelerator in it, I mean, it feels like someone's hitting the brakes. Yeah. When you take power from an electric motor, it just naturally starts to break. So it just, I mean, still, it doesn't do much when you're doing 170, <laughs> but 